Welcome to the crag. On today's episode, we're in Tlenovo and we're deep water solo. Today, we're at the annual deep water soloing meeting. For those who don't know, deep water soloing is when you climb above bodies of water. You don't use a rope or any other types of equipment. The only thing that will catch your fall is the water below. Uh, the climbs here have different difficulties. They depend on two different factors. The climbing grade and the safety index. The safety index determines how safe it is to fall. It goes from S1 to S3. S1 means it's very safe to fall and S3 means it's very dangerous to fall. This is affected by how deep the water is, how many rocks there are below you and how big the waves are. What should you bring when you deep water solo? I personally would bring a pair of shoes, however you can climb barefoot, just watch out, it's quite sore on your feet. Bring some chalk, a towel and most importantly, bring suntan lotion. Okay, enough descriptions, it's time to go climbing. Currently we're in sector G, Telenovo has 10 sectors in total with room for further development. The sectors follow the coast from north to south and they're all within a five minute walk from the car. To get to Telenovo, the closest major city is Varna. From Varna, if you follow the coastal road to the north, you'll arrive at the town of Telenovo. We recommend you go by car because public transport is limited. Once in Telenovo, use the coordinates from the online guidebook, climbingguide.bg, to get to your desired sector. The approach to the majority of sectors is along a dark path off the main road and this dark path will take you to the cliffs. When it comes to deep water soloing, Telenovo is compared to Mallorca. This is due to Bulgaria's climate and the water from the Black Sea. The sea is warm and calm and it's best to climb here between mid-July and August. Climbing in Telenovo is not advised between March and the 15th of July. This is due to nesting birds. The best part of deep water soloing to Lenovo is there's climbs of all grades. You have beginner routes and you have advanced routes. The handholds are not polished and the climbing has a massive variety from slabs to steep overhangs. When climbing in Lenovo for the first time, make sure you're able to climb the descent routes and know where they are. The reason you're doing this is to make sure you can climb back out after you fall in. Make sure when you're climbing that you don't climb by yourself. It's good to have company. And most importantly, make sure you're comfortable swimming in the sea. If you bring slings, trad gear and a rope, you can try the harder grades as a top rope. There's glue-ons and bolts in place for this purpose. Do not bolt or put glue-ons here without permission. Regarding accommodation, you have many options. You can stay in a guest house in Telenovo, or if you want a bigger city, you can stay in Kravarna. Or simply, you can even camp at the crag. In Karen Bragg, they have this never-ending fire, which you can use to cook your food. And in Telenovo, you'll see various pipes. These pipes can be used to wash yourself. However, please don't use lotions or soap, because it will get into the sea. There's a restaurant and a market in Telenovo. There's no fresh water in Telenovo, so make sure you stock up before you come here. There's no bathroom at the crag, so make sure that you clean up after yourself. We've met up with a local climber called Pomera, and she's going to explain a bit more for you. I am here for the third year, and I like the place and the place that I give. The useful things that I can give are not here, don't look at where you are parked so you don't fall into the sea, because there are no lenses that can be spotted on the path. Друг съвет е, не идва не проверете времето, за да сте сигурни колко ще бъде силен вятър, дали ще са силни вълните и дали самите скали няма да са мокри от водата. Аз винаги си нося една хавлия, едно шелте, за да ми е удобно на скалите, два чифта обувки, за да мога ако бувна във водата, докато съхнат едните да нося другите, слънце защитен крем задължително и магнези, препоръчително за ръцете. One of my favorite tips is when you come here, you can use liquid chalk as a base layer and powdered chalk when you're climbing. Another thing is if you pat your clothing, such as your shorts or trousers, you can get a thick layer of chalk. So while you climb, you can slap your leg and get more chalk while climbing. If you've climbed here for a couple of days 
and you want a rest day, we recommend you visit these locations. You can go to the most eastern part of Bulgaria, the Lighthouse of Shabla. You can visit Cape Kiriakra, and you can visit the historical reserve of Yailata. And finally, you can visit Kravarna. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. And a special thank you to our partners, Alpi, Outsider, and Magazine 360. Stay tuned for more episodes.